Majid says, ironing boards are surfboards that gave up their dreams. So this is pretty straightforward. Apparently, it's a joke that somebody made at some point. I don't know. I don't know where it's from. But the basic idea is that somehow it's cooler to be a surfboard because you're on the water and you're in the waves and you're colorful and it's cool. Surfing is cool. And an ironing board is somehow not a cool thing, right? You just put the ironing board out. It's flat. And you iron your clothes on it. We imagine a, a guy before work ironing his shirt, kind of depressed, getting ready for the day, having his having his coffee. Mm. Not cool, right? Not very cool. At least I don't think it's that cool. So the joke, I think, is that an ironing board and a surfboard look similar. So what we're doing here is anthropomorphizing ironing boards and surfboards. Ironing boards and surfboards have no dreams. They have no motivation. They have no desires. They're things. They don't think. They don't feel. We make them for what they do. But if we anthropomorphize, 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 look it up, anthropomorphize things, we give them human characteristics. When we say, oh, look, the tree is so lonely in the middle of the field, the lonely tree. The tree is not lonely. It is alone. It is solitary. Those are descriptive, but it is not lonely, at least as far as I know. Trees don't have this feeling of, oh gosh, if only, you know, if only I could call someone or, you know, I don't think that trees have this characteristic. Maybe they do. But I don't speak tree, so how can I know? But what I'm doing there when I describe it that way is I'm imprinting my human opinion onto something and I'm considering it with human characteristics. I'm putting my human char characteristics on it as a description and I'm, I'm thinking of it in that way. I think of the tree as lonely, that lonely old tree who lived lived on the top of the hill for 35 years before it was cut down by George Washington, right? And so we're doing the same thing with the surfboard. We're saying that a surfboard has a dream. I want to be a surfboard. So maybe there's a little baby piece of wood or something or whatever surfboards are made out of. I want to be a surfboard when I grow up. That's amp anthropo yeah. anthropomorphizing. That's anthropomorphizing. <laughs> it's hard to say thing, a piece of wood, if surfboards are made out of that. Uh, but then it, it fails at life, right? Like a, like a teenager who has a dream to be an actor or an actress, and then they fail at their dream, and then they get a job in an office. Ugh, I failed to be a surfboard. I didn't make it. I didn't do it. I didn't get accepted. So now I have to, now I have to become an ironing board. That's the idea. So the surfboard, the anthropomorphized surfboard, a wannabe surfboard gave up his or her dream and became an ironing board, which is less cool. That is the idea. That's the point of this joke. Is it a funny joke? Not not really. I don't think it's that funny, but it's sort of giving giving ironing boards and surfboards dreams. You guys use ironing boards? I have an iron. You iron it. You iron your clothes on it. Some people use steamers. Anyway, do you think surfboards are that cool? I mean, maybe we could say. I, I prefer this analogy. An ironing board is a grown-up surfboard. So after after the surfboard's career, it retires and becomes an ironing board. That's more that feels more natural to me. An ironing board is a retired surfboard. Yeah, I like that better. That's that's Luke anthropomorphization of boards. Anyway, hopefully that makes sense. Guys, if you haven't already, as I mentioned, please if you don't mind, hit the like button. Also, subscribe and check out my full courses in the links in the description. <music>